Hello, football fans. The King Ikibu Sports Network is on the air with a very special presentation. The 1930 Group A final of college football between the number one ranked Notre Dame Fighting Irish and the number 32 ranked Cornell Big Red. Cornell, of course, was the number one, had the best record in the group. So they are the number one seed in this group, even though they're the 32nd ranked team. And Notre Dame is the, is the uh, second ranked group, even though they're the number one in the country. And this is why Cornell was 13-1 and one during the regular season, and Notre Dame was 11-3. and three. If you tuned in the semifinals, Notre Dame defeated Stanford in five games to advance to this final, and Cornell swept Marquette to get to this position in the final. The dream matchup is here. Here's Notre Dame. They will be on the road in games one, two, five, and seven, and Cornell will be on the road in games three, four, and six. Notre Dame is M minus one with a 24 ranks strength of schedule. What that means is M minus one is N or, or L, sorry, for Notre Dame. And then the strength of schedule difference is 18. You look on the strength of schedule chart for 18. 18 means two plus two for the higher strength of schedule and one for the lower. So two plus two minus one. So after all that, M minus one is L. The home field puts it down to K, but Notre Dame goes up two for the strength of schedule, so they finish on the road as an M. Cornell is a P. They go down one for the defense to O. They go up one for the home field advantage to P, and they go down one again because of the strength of schedule, so they their final rating is O. This MO, I can go... All the way across, when the games are at Cornell, will be M-O. Okay. I should take these out because we don't know what they are for Notre Dame when they're on at home. So we'll figure that out right now. So Cornell, P minus 1 goes down to O. The strength of schedule goes down another one to N. The strength of schedule... Goes down once more to M. So Cornell on the road is an M. P minus 1 goes to O. Strength of schedule N. And home field advantage M. Notre Dame goes M. They start M minus 1 for the defense of Cornell. They go down to L. The home field advantage goes up to M. And the strength of schedule goes up 2. So it's reversed. O for Notre Dame. So it's mo, 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 mo all the way across. So that's the home field advantage. Cornell has a two column advantage when they're at home. Notre Dame has a two column advantage when they're at home. That's why they play the games. That's why they have the seventh game. You have the home, you have the game at home in the seventh game. That's why you play so hard in the regular season because you want that home field advantage in the seventh game and that's what Cornell has so let's get this underway we're rolling for M for Notre Dame we can uh, now we looked at the logos we can get rid of the logos to make this better on the screen there we go just a little bit over so we can see the score first quarter for Notre Dame M we have to do the flipping all the time so that's a kind of a bummer. Too bad it wasn't uh, N-O. Then we wouldn't have to flip. But that's what we have to do. That is a small price to pay for the finals. M for Notre Dame. Rolling for Notre Dame. They roll a 12. That is a bad roll. It's a scoreless in the first quarter. No points for Notre Dame. We go over to O. And we roll for Cornell on the first quarter. 51 is a very good roll. 51 is 10 points for Cornell. In case you're wondering, during the regular season. 
when these two teams met. Let's go. So Cornell, Notre Dame in week four at Notre Dame, 36 to 30 for Notre Dame. And then when they met at Cornell is right here. Very close game, 36 34. Two exciting games that only whets our appetite for more here in the final. But Cornell has a big lead, 10 to nothing. Here are the uh, records so far counting the playoffs. Notre Dame is 15 and 4. They've scored 540 points, gave up 281. Cornell is 17 and 1. They scored 535 points and allowed more points at 338. With all the preliminaries, now let's play. We got the second quarter. We're rolling once again on M. I don't need this second dice. Might as well get rid of it or else I'll have to... Oops. I have clicking disorder. Here we go. We'll get this organized. Rolling on M for Notre Dame on the second quarter. 16 is another bad roll. They do manage to get a field goal. So a slow start for the Fighting Irish, the number one team in the country. And they only have three points in the first half. Let's see what uh, Cornell can do here. Here is the roll, 36. 36 on O is BQ. So they have a potential to have a very big quarter or a very bad quarter. We shall see which one. BQ rolling second quarter, 41. 41 means they score zero. So they score nothing. It's a bad quarter for Cornell. And the score at the half in this what was thought to be a very high scoring series so far. They are nervous and it's 10-3 Cornell. Roll for the third quarter for Notre Dame on M. Here is their roll. 53 much better. So on M they score a touchdown and temporarily the score is tied at 10. 10-10, but Cornell has to roll now. They've scored 10 points in the first quarter. No points in the second quarter. They're rolling on O. Here is the roll. 61. 61 is two touchdowns. And that's what Cornell does. They have at least one huge quarter every game. And they're up 24-10 here in game one. And Notre Dame is... They haven't been blown out. When they lose, they lose very close games. But this is the biggest deficit they've faced all season. Here, in the, They need big roll here. Here is the roll for the fourth quarter. If they want any hope of winning game one, 16 is not a big roll. Three points. They will lose game one. How many points will they give up? It's just cosmetic at this point because they've already lost. Here is the roll. 45 on O is 7 points. Another touchdown. So Cornell wins big. 31-13 in game 1. Now we go to game 2. And once again, rolling on M. Let's see if Notre Dame can do better. Rolling on M. Here's the first 11. They get a safety. Notre Dame is struggling with their rolling here. In this playoff, the number one seed in the country, the number one ranked team, is in jeopardy of being defeated and not getting to the Elite Eight. Here is O for, for Cornell. 62 is a very nice roll. It is a two touchdowns. So usually they save their big quarter for the second half, but not today. They are putting the pedal to the metal and they're up 14 to 2. There's still time to come back, but they can't roll any more 16s as they've done twice already in this series. Here's their next roll for second quarter. 22 is no better. It's three points. 14 to 5. They're going to need help. You know, they're only two columns apart. Should be this big a discrepancy, but the dice love Cornell. Here's the roll. 24. 24 is 6 points on O. So at the half, it's 20 to 5 for Cornell. Threatening to go up 2 games to nothing in this series. Okay, we're in M for Notre Dame. They need to get going here. 13 is not getting going. Another poor roll. They score nothing in the third quarter. I guess they're saving it for being at home. I'm hoping this... 
pattern continues when they're at South Bend. Here is the roll for Cornell. 22. 22 is a field goal. So the score after three quarters is 23 to 5. All right, here's the roll on M. They need lots of help. 14, another dreadful roll. No points in the fourth quarter, and they will go down two games to nothing to Cornell. Here's the, doesn't matter really what they roll here. 54, they roll big, and they score 10 points. So 33 to 5 and 31 to 13 for Cornell in the first two games. Now the rolls are reversed here in game three. Cornell will roll on M. Let's see if that continues. The poor rolling on M continues. You could have a sweep of Notre Dame. Can you believe that? If this continues, these bad rolls for Notre Dame. Here is the roll for the first quarter for Cornell. 64. That's two touchdowns. They are not hindered at all by the M column. And they're up big. 14 to nothing in game three. Here's Notre Dame. 24. That is six points. It's the best quarter they've had. No, they had one seven point. So 14 to 6. So now it goes to the th second quarter. 12. That is the roll that Notre Dame needed. Okay, now they have to take advantage of that to make this a series. They have to start now. Big roll here. What will it be? 55. 55 is on O. 10. If it would have been 56, they had two touchdowns, but 10 points. They do take the lead at the half, though, by a score of 16 to 14. Okay, we're going to roll the third quarter for Cornell. They're only down by two points. And you know in the second half, they would have to have one huge roll. 24, it's not in the third quarter. They get a field goal. They take the lead by a score of 17 to 16. But now they're tempted to bring up the fight song. They want to save the fight song from they really need it. And this is a crucial roll, but sure, let's do it now. They need it now. They can't wait any longer. Will it help? 66, 21 points. So why? We should have been playing the fights on the whole time. 37 to 17 for Notre Dame. Okay, here's the M roll, the fourth quarter for Cornell. 56, a nice roll. They get 10 points. But they will lose game three. Doesn't really matter what they do. No fourth quarter suspense so far in this series 25 on O is 6 points so they score a whopping 43 points so now we'll go to game 4 2 games to 1 Cornell they need a big game they want to tie this series 15 not a very good start no points for Cornell in the first quarter Everything changed when the fight song started. Here's O. 51. 51 is 10 points. 10 to nothing, Notre Dame. Too bad the song's gonna run out. And with that, their luck. Let's see if it does. We can re re we could play it again if we need to. Okay, here's M. Let's see if they get a big roll. Now the music has ended. 31. They score six points. They're down 10 to 6. They are guaranteed to be down going into the second half. But they are a second half team. Very much so. Here's Notre Dame's big roll. 54. That's another nice roll. Even without the music. And they're up at the half here in game 4. 20 to 6. So we could have a series after all. Here's the th third quarter for Cornell. 
15. No points. The road team has rolled dreadfully in this series. Cornell could, or uh, Notre Dame could put it away with a huge roll here. 53 is a nice roll. And that's another 10 points. They've scored 10 points in every quarter. And I think this one, unless, unless everything falls apart, they should tie the series. It'll be a best of three. But we have to still roll the fourth quarter. 11, they get a safety. That's it. And Notre Dame will tie the series. It's been a homers series big time. Okay, let's see what they get. It doesn't really matter. 61, another huge roll. That's 14 points. They said, you crushed us when we were on the road. Now we're going to crush you. Every game has been a blowout. No suspense. And yet we're tied two games apiece. So now we go to game five. We're tied two apiece. But now we're back at Cornell. And they say, yeah, we, we can't lose at home. Here is the roll for Notre Dame in the first quarter. May these final games have some suspense. Not be blowouts. Here's the roll. It's 61. That is a nice roll. 10 points for Notre Dame. That's the best. Well, they had good rolls here. But uh, I was going to say the road team's best roll, but that isn't because they have a 14 point. They start off very well, Cornell. They look like they could go up three games of nothing, but then Notre Dame started to roll when the music started to play. Here is, we might as well play the Cornell song. It's only fair. Okay, here's O. 11! That is not a big roll. They get a safety. It's 10 to 2, Notre Dame. They took a while to get rolling, but it looks like they're in good shape now. 14. I spoke too soon. That's the kind of rolls they got when they're in Cornell last time. Here is O for Cornell. 36. 36 is the big Q. They were burned last time in the big Q. What will happen this time? There's potential of greatness and there's potential of sadness. 42. 42 is more sadness. No points. The music isn't helping. But it's not as great as the Fighting Irish song. Okay, we're going to the third quarter. 46 is a nice roll. And they get their chance at a big Q. All right, we'll stop it there. We have a big Q for Notre Dame. Will they get burned? Like Cornell has been burned twice in the big Q? There's a, there seems to be a lot worse stuff. I always hit the bad stuff in Big Q. It sounds big, big, right? Big is exciting. But more often than not, I get the sad rolls on the Big Q. Or the Big G, Big G, Big Game. 26. 26 is not a sad roll. It's a huge roll for Notre Dame. 21 points. Oh, they're going to break serve here. They're up 31 to 2. And the number one seed that was looked like they were in huge trouble has come back big time. Still not over, though. They still have... Somehow, can Cornell get back in this? They need to roll big. They've rolled big in the second half all year long. 43. It's a little better. It's still only a touchdown. They need a lot more than that. As they are down after three quarters, 31 to 9. Big 21 point, big quarter. Here is the final roll of the game. They could break serve here in game five and take the lead going back to South Bend for game six. Here is the roll, 11. So they get... It's better than 12 because they do get two points. It's 33 to 9. All right. 
They need a big quarter. There's still things on the board here. They could roll a 66. That would give them... That would give them what? 30. They would still lose. So things aren't looking good. They need the BQ. 36. And they need double BQ. It's not, it doesn't look good for Cornell. Here is the roll. 53. That is not a BQ. That is 10 points. Too little. Too late. And Notre Dame wins game five. And they go up three games of two. And they're going home. Going home. So Cornell, they have to do what Notre Dame did in game five. Here we go. It's M. M for Cornell. They want to pull up the huge upset. Represent the 32nd ranked teams. They've done so well this year. They only lost one game in the first... In the first, how many was it? 17-1 and one they came into this series. Yes. First 18 games, they lost one. Here in the five games, they've lost three. But that's because they're they're not facing teams like Bucknell and Brown. They're facing Notre Dame and Newt Rockney. But it's not over yet. They can still, they can do what Notre Dame did in game five. And they have to start now. Here it is, 11. Another safety. How many safeties are in this series? Not a good start for Cornell. Here's Notre Dame. They're saying, we want the music in the second quarter. So here we go. It's an O for Notre Dame. They roll a 36. 36 is the BQ again. And last time, they, they got a huge roll. Will they do it again? Here is their roll. 13. 13 is plus 5. So they roll again. Oops, too far. Plus five. P Q R S T. They roll on T. There's a lot of good stuff on there. And if they hit the big Q again, they get the roll off the BQ double chart, which is this. There's potential 28 points on there. That would pretty much salt away this series. Rolling on T. First quarter, Notre Dame. 33. 33 on T is 7 points. So you could say Cornell dodged the bullet there. But they're still down by 5. And they need to roll better now if they want to stay in this series. 14. They score nothing. What is it with being on the road in this series? Okay, Notre Dame says, we want our song. We want to put this away now. We say thank you, Cornell, for an exciting season and ex exciting series. But it's now it's time for us to flex our muscles. And nothing to do that better than to listen to some audio crack. The Notre Dame fight song. Rolling on O. Oh, they score three, though. They get a bad roll. They still score. That's a benefit of being on O versus M. But they're still in striking distance. Only eight behind. 36. A little bit better. Six points. They're still down, though. Eight to ten. Ten to eight. Now they got to cross their fingers and hope that they can roll another 14. Here is the roll. 25. Not the greatest roll, but still gives them six points. So it's 16 to 8. This is it for Cornell. The Cinderella story. Rolling on M. They need a huge roll. It's do or die. 31 is not a huge roll. It's 6 points. And with that, they will lose. They will go down to defeat. They lose 4 straight games after winning the first 2. How can they fight against audio crack? There's no way you can do it. And that is it. 23-14. Notre Dame survives. Somehow they lost. They finished 11-3 in the season, but they defeated the 17-1 Cornell Big Red in the final. And that is it. Your Group A 
champions of the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. And now we're going to go to Group B. And here are the teams in Group B. The 8th ranked Wisconsin Badgers. The Boilermakers of Purdue. The Wildcats of Kentucky. The Midshipmen. I better stop here because I have no idea what Washington and Jefferson... <laughs> Washington and Jefferson College's name is. But Navy, the 40th ranked team. Yale, 25th ranked team. You have 41st ranked Minnesota, 56th ranked Rice, and 57th ranked Washington and Jefferson College. And those are the teams in Group B. And I'll play these out and I'll see you. If it's a huge game in the last game of the season, I'll play that. But a playoffs, I'll definitely broadcast those again. Doesn't take long, though, because that's why they call it Final Score Football, because it's fast. That's why I love it. Anyway, this is King Ikiboo signing off on the King Ikiboo Sports Network. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.